statutory warning smoking kills one little helpless egg at a time that's one less miserable sucker that doesn't have to grow up wake up every morning feeling like shit besides this is good for me it soothes my soul <coughs> oh yeah sure leave me alone would you sorry jd no can do i hate to break it to you but you are alone I'm just the better looking voice in your head. And you look like shit by the way. You expect me to wake up looking like Kate Middleton? It's 7 friggin AM. It actually. And no, that would be like asking you to condition your hair, which is asking for too much. I do condition my hair. I'm only looking out for you. It's what I do. And while your hair does look like it's something out of Edward Scissorhands, I'm more concerned about what's going on in your head. So, a boy, huh? Got to say, I'm a little surprised. I always thought you were, you know, playing for the other team. I feel like we've reached that awkward point in a party where you're drunk and saying inappropriate things. Oh no way! The party don't start till I walk in, and I'm at least six shots down. I'm just getting started. So, what's troubling you, kid? Oh please, spare me the emotional interrogation, drunk Dr. Phil. How dare you take the Lord's name in vain? Come on, you love talking about your problems. Everyone does. That's why reality shows do so well. They should really let you have your own show. Yes, they should. See, we agree on something. Now spill, shoot, whatever you want. It's time to let out the demons that have been hiding in the cavities of your ice box of a soul. No, no, there's just a demon that looks an awful lot like you. Why well, wouldn't that be a good thing? If all demons look like me, not if they sounded like you. You know what? Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Wow. Already? Are you sure? You can't stop thinking about him, can you? No, I can't. It's pathetic. Well, it's natural. Is it natural to not be enjoying this process? What do you mean? I mean this whole process of love or lust or like or whatever it is. I know it's going nowhere, but and I can't figure it out. I know it's wrong, but it just feels so good. This is a classic battle between loins and heart. It's a battle between the loins, heart and mind. And I can't seem to figure out what I want. You want him, obviously. No, I want something from him. Something he's not willing to give. And what's that? Hmm. I know he doesn't feel the same way about me the way I do about him. And there's always this sense of equality that I'm trying to achieve. I can't like him more than he likes me. Like I couldn't bear for him to know that I like him more. My ego wouldn't take it. Aren't I your ego? You're just one of the many people who live in my head. It also makes you feel vulnerable, doesn't it? Wait, what? I said it also makes you feel vulnerable, doesn't it? Oh, I hate that word, vulnerable. It's it's such a female-centric word, like mollycoddle or hormonal. These hormones. 
and boys. Wait, I just made female centric sound like a negative thing. Yeah, you're kind of a sexist feminist. That's horrible. We got f***ed religiously, historically, mentally, physically, socially and phonetically. We didn't even get the raw end of the deal. There was no f deal. We were born to get f Speaking of... What? Getting f How was it? Well, it happened and it was strange but nice. You know, he was... He was still discovering my sweet spots and where to touch me and how to touch me. Um, honestly though, I was in it just for the cuddling. The post-coital cuddle syndrome. Most women suffer from it. I see why. And he has these hands that, that make me feel less important. And that's a good thing. I give myself way too much importance and he breaks that down. He breaks down all of my Iron Woman balls and I'm left feeling like, like a, a puddle of marsh. A pool of marsh rather and I'm always stuck at the deep end. You know, he is very attractive. That he is. He's also kind, funny and charming and other obvious qualities one looks for in a guy. But... But on a bad day, all those amazing things about him can't change the fact that he is still a patronizing, self-centered, insensitive child. You're not exactly in the running for Miss Perfect either. I'm aware of that, thank you. You know when I'm with him, it all makes sense. And I think that this might actually work. And when there are people around, he plays it super yeah, cool. Yeah, and then he becomes this exaggerated, amplified version of himself, which at first is attractive. And then it gets annoying. Is that why Stone Cold Steve Austin has been making frequent appearances of late? That's probably why. You know, he's become my standby persona. This, I'm so boss, I have feelings made of razor sharp ice blades. So don't come close or I'll cut you. You mean, don't come close or I'll melt? Ugh. Damn you, you're right. I suck. There's a reason they call me the super ego. I'm here to save you from making the same mistake twice. I mean, why am I spending so much of my time and mental space on someone I've known for so little time? Granted, he makes me feel like, like, woman, which for you is a rare feeling. Your poor ovaries. My ovaries are just fine. You need to worry about who's gonna father my children first. I hope you know you have a lot more to offer. All the gold lies here. Oh, don't flatter yourself. What I mean is you have a lot more going on for you on the inside and he'd be a fool if he didn't appreciate this. You see, you have this wonderfully warped mind and a big bleeding heart and a belly full of warmth and goodness. Basically, you belong to that rare breed of women that men are petrified of. Wait. When you said that I have a lot more going on for me on the inside, are you saying that I don't have much going on on the outside? Janet, just don't settle. Right, I'm gonna die alone. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to get the hell out of here because I am mortifyingly late. Again? I'm so sorry, sir. May I feel, said he. I'll squeal, said she. Just once, said he. It's fun, said she. May I touch, said he. How much, said she. A lot, said he. Why not, said she. Let's go, said he. Not too far, said she. What's too far, said he. Where you are, said she. May I stay, said he. Which way, said she. Like this, said he. If you kiss, said she. You're divine, said he. You are mine, said she.